Hi guys, it's Deb with Deb's Cool Finds. Thank you for so much for joining me once again. If you are a returning uh, viewer, hopefully you are a returning subscribed viewer. If you are not, go click that subscribe button. What's stopping you? Uh, anyway, uh, if you have not seen my channel before and you thought, oh, I'll check this out. Thank you so much for giving me a try. Um, hopefully you will like it, but I understand perfectly if it just isn't your style of videos. Uh, you know, not everybody's for everybody. So that's awesome that we have such an amazing choice of things to watch and people to watch on YouTube. You know, you can get people who talk a lot, people who talk a little, uh, people who do Timu hauls, people who do Dollar Tree hauls, people who do you know, unboxing, my grandsons watch kids who play with toys and they watch that. So, you know, there's something for everybody out there. Um, there may be even be some, some stuff out there that's a little strange to some people, but perfectly normal to others. And that's what's so cool about this kind of a medium that, you know, we can all just get out there and put it out. And if somebody likes it, they'll watch it and subscribe. And if they don't, they won't um and uh yeah we all just have some fun so um just be kind to youtubers uh, i'm gonna turn you a little bit um and you know if you don't happen to like their channel you don't have to let them know i'm not saying that personally if you want to let me know that's fine i'll just you know say thank you for watching and trying me out and good luck with someone else but um yeah do you don't we don't have to tell anything bad on on YouTube to a YouTube creator. We can just click that off button and go on to somebody else. I watch a couple people that say that they get some pretty mean comments and stuff and it just, it just boggles my mind because there's no reason to be mean, number one. And number two, if you don't like it, like I said, just change that channel. It's like you're watching a TV show and you're going, I hate this show. I hate that actor. I hate the, the you know, it's too much talk. I want more action. But you just keep watching it. <laughs> it's just like, why would you do that to yourself? Change the channel. Change the YouTuber. So anyway, that's my little spiel for today. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing pretty darn well myself. Uh, still loving my job. One of my coworkers, I'm so jealous. Um, she went on vacation down to um, Western Mexico and uh, sent me a couple pictures and I'm so jelly. Like, I <laughs> just like, I want to be there. Um, but it was beautiful. So um, I thank her for the pictures, but come on, girl, you're killing me, you're killing me. So um, she's, she'll be gone the whole week, but then I have my other new coworker and uh, she's a blast too. So yeah, still having a great time there. Still loving it. One of my coworkers is expecting a baby, uh, his wife is. Um, that'd be cool if he was, that'd be really, you know, different and interesting and exciting, but no, it's just his wife. Um, and, uh, so, you know, I could do some really great YouTube content if it was him, but no, he, he, he wouldn't help me out and it's his wife. Um, so I heard yesterday that it was supposed to be maybe today that they were inducing. So I'm so excited to hear he wasn't in today. So I'm hoping that's why he wasn't in and they had their baby girl and that everything was okay. So Anyway, that's what's going on at work, and uh, goofball over there, Bella, is now rolling around on the floor. She's now on her back with her legs up in the air and rolling around, so she's kind of goofy. <laughs> she gets so excited when I get home. Um, she tries to get out the front door because she just wants to run up to her potty spot, but I'm so afraid of her getting out there and then getting away from me or, you know, another dog and she barks and they get angry. Just all kinds of things like go through my brain. I'm like, no, get out of the house without your leash. So, um, yeah, it always makes me nervous because I guess her hearing's a little better. Um, enough that she's been meeting me at the front door. It might be your hearing or she can also lay on my bed in my bedroom and see when my car pulls up. So I don't know if that's it either. But it's dark. Hi, Miss Bella. You come to join us? Hi. You can go on your bed. Nope. Okay. So, <laughs> so I got it pretty organized back there again. I mean, the crate's always going to be there. It's a bummer, but you know, got some Valentine's Day stuff up there. My normal beachy stuff. Um, over there, right there, is a crate, and it's got a Christmas tree in it. Um, I don't know. I hate throwing things away that are still useful. Are you like that? So, um. 
and tried to give it away before Christmas, but I didn't get any takers on Facebook other than some scammy crud, which I hate. Um, and I didn't get the chance to take it into Goodwill, which I was going to do. Now I'm afraid they won't take it because it's not that season. I don't know. Uh, but it is an old tree. It is as old as my, well, it's a year younger than my son. So that tree is, how old are you, Nick? The tree is about 36 years old. <laughs> But it's still unbelievably beautiful and it's so full, you know, they don't, hello, they don't make trees that full mostly anymore. It's beautiful. So I don't know if I should just trash it because it's old or I don't know. Uh, but then I have some other stuff I need to take to Goodwill because I do donate to Goodwill uh, a lot, either in my purchasing of items from there or giving items to them. Oh, my eyes are burning. Sorry. Just hit me. Woo. Okay, anyway, stop talking. Okay, I will. Well, I won't. I won't stop talking. I'll never stop talking. Uh, but I will show you. I have a pillow. <laughs> I have a Timu bag here that I've been dying to get into. Uh, but I just haven't had time to make the videos. So, who are you barking at? You looking at me and barking? Who do you think you are? Don't you be barking at me. <laughs> Her tail's just kind of She's just staring at me. It's got a green. Oh, really? You need to talk? Are you on the video? They don't want to hear you. They want to see you. Go up on your bed. Go up on your bed. You want to get up? There you go. Say hello. No, there's nothing on the bed for you, but you know, hello. Uh, anyway, because I, I get home so late. Like I was getting home at, well, I always get home like, um, Hi, beautiful. Get home like if I'm lucky, 6.45, but closer to 7. And <coughs> then it was come home, take her, let her do her business, feed her, get my dinner ready. By the time I'm eating, it's 7.30 or later. You know, by the time you're done, it's like 8 o'clock. And then every night I was having acid reflux. So I'm like, this is not this. Because if I have it too much, um, it goes down into my bronchial tubes or whatever um and then makes my bronchitis start and then makes my asthma start and the whole thing so anyway i thought i need to stop this so i thought <laughs> okay you know at night when you have i don't know if you like me you have these fantastic ideas and you're just going to follow through on them and life's going to be great and then you get up in the morning and you go i can't do that am i crazy was i crazy last night so i had the idea i'm just gonna fast stop now, I'm just going to, ma'am, you're barking at me. What do you want? I will get you your food when I'm done. Okay. Can you wait a little bit? I know. Can you just wait a little? I'm sorry. So <laughs> anyway, um, I thought I need what, I, what my brain at night said was, girl, what you need to do, listen to me. I know it all. What you need to do is just have your coffee drink on the way to work. Wait till like 10 o'clock or so, eat like a breakfast, kind of lunch breakfast. Then, and just take like a half an hour of your lunch break. And then wait till like three or four, take your other half hour, and then eat your dinner, lunch dinner. Um, and then don't eat anymore after that, and then you won't get the acid reflux and everything will be cool. And you'll have, you know, from the time you get home till the time you go to bed, you won't have to worry about food and eating. You could just do things around the house or make videos or play on xbox or whatever um great plan i ain't doing that um so <laughs> i should but i just i'll think more on it but i made a compromise today of drink my coffee to go to work when i ate my lunch at lunchtime and then i ate my sandwich i made for lunch because i went to the store at lunch uh to get miss bella some food dog food she was out and so I got a little um, wrap from Walmart. Um, and so I had that for lunch. And then on my way driving from work, as soon as I left the parking garage, I ate my sandwich I brought for lunch as my dinner. So when I got home, I'm done eating and everything. And I could make this video and not have to worry about food. We'll see how that goes because I'm normally hungry. In, are you with me? Hungry in the evening? It's a bad, bad habit. Anyway, we'll see how this goes. So I forgot to um, bring, to write down prices or, or bring my uh, tablet in here. But, you know, I, I will always put the prices up here in my little editing routine. I'll put the price up there so you can find it. And if you want the exact same item that I'm going to be showing you, 
go down below in that description box. It says a tiny description, then it says more dot dot dot. Click on that more. And then my big description box will open up, but it's got all kinds of info in there. It's got, you know, a link um, to download the Timo app if you have not done so yet. Please use my link to do so. I get a little something. You get, I think it's 30% off and then a coupon bundle. Um, I also have an affiliate code down there, AF, I'll put it up here, AFI40068. Um, use that code that also does something for you uh, and it lets them know that I'm, people are watching me and using my codes. Please help me out that way. Um, it's got like my fish co land code, the games, got my fish land code, my farmland code down below, fetch code. It's got all kinds of stuff and it has the links to these items so you can get the exact same items. Now, pricing, it can differ minute to minute. So, I'll tell you the price currently when I'm editing of these items, but that doesn't always mean a whole lot. And I'm getting these nice, are you guys getting these nice, beautiful Timu bags? I love them. I accidentally slit this one opening the bag, but uh, anyway, I like them to reuse them. So, awesome. Okay, this is a blazer I got for work and it's a darker brown which I do really like but this one is patterned and buttoned and everything it's a little longer than I thought it's really long so we'll see how it looks but it's got a nice it's um I don't know how to describe this material oh, okay wait a minute so is it I can kind of see you through there <laughs> um but it's just this patterned material but it also you can feel that pattern I don't know what it's called, but yeah, you can feel it. So it's not thick. It's a thin material. Don't think this is going to keep you, you know, super warm or anything, but it's nice to wear in an office or, oh, this would be really cute with jeans and a white t-shirt or a white, you know, button up or something. So yeah, I do like it. It's a floral pattern. I don't know if you can tell that, but it's like a floral pattern of browns. You've got your collar. A nice color to it okay and then it goes down so you've got some buttons down here that's really cool little design to it um, and then you've got the buttons down this side so double would that be double breasted I don't know but the buttons down here it does actually have button on this one to close it it has fake pockets so you've got the little pocket cover but there's no pocket you've got one on each side you've got your long sleeves no padding in the shoulders just comes down to a straight armband on there and then the back is solid there's no slit in the middle on the bottom like some jackets have it's just a solid thing to it so yeah I'm liking that that's really that's different I think that'll be really cute so yeah more work clothes I know <laughs> I'm loving it. Every time I come in with something new on, they actually notice and be like, that's really cute. I love that. You know me, I just hate attention. <laughs> um, I think most of this stuff in here is clothing and, and then there's some other items. So, on to the next one. So, unzip our beautiful bag. Like I said, these are good for storing all kinds of things around the house. Uh, we're taking things with you places. Uh, this would be cute if you had kids. You could put like coloring books, some colors, markers, whatever in here. Zip it up. Take it with you in the car. And then let them play if you're like waiting for a doctor's appointment. Or, you know, something that your kids are just kind of sitting around bored. I mean, even what I like to do with my grandkids when they were little or the boys. Uh, every time I would meet her for dinner out, I had a bag. And the bag had... Um, coloring books and sticker books and crayons and pencils and all kinds of stuff in it and then when we would be seated at the restaurant table of course they're bored right till you get food um and so i would just take the bag out and here you go guys and they'd be like oh and they'd color and, and do everything and keep themselves occupied until dinner came and so it made dinner very nice for them and for us adults <laughs> so oh i'm glad it's this color okay from the picture, I thought this was more of a brown, and I thought I didn't have a nice brown sweater like this, and then I found this one in my closet, and I thought, oh no, I ordered the same thing. Doesn't that tick you off? And someone sent me this, isn't it beautiful? Thank you. It's so pretty. 
I absolutely love it. It goes perfect with this blue shirt. And then I have Timu earrings on. And you know, my Timu charm. Amelia, my turtles. Every time I go there without wearing this, she's like, Grandma, where's your turtles? Well, there's my turtles. And that one. Okay. Anyway, this is like a soft, purpley, purple color. Like, I don't know my purples. Lavender, grape, whatever. But it's 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 muted. It's a nice muted color. Very soft. Very soft sweater. Loving the feel of the sweater. So, it is just a cardigan. It is open front. So there's no buttons or anything down it. However, my favorite thing, there are pockets and they are real. Oh, and they are nice size. Look at that pocket. I mean, yeah, my entire hand and wrist go in that pocket. So that's very nice. It is 95% polyester, 5% spandex, of course. But yeah, two beautiful pockets. It's ribbed. It's got this beautiful ribbed look to it. Let me try and show you a little closer. Look at that, it's so soft. It's like fuzzy, almost like this kind of throw soft to it, but even softer. It's really nice. And this color is very pretty, very different from my other colors. So it will make a great addition. The sleeves just come down. They're ribbed also. Can you see through it? Yes, you can a little between the ribbing. Well, you can see that. So some of the ribbing is thicker and that's it. Yeah. So just a nice, you know, throw it over you, take it to the movies. Take it into a restaurant because they're so cold, especially down here. They keep the air on. Summer, I mean, 365, the air is on in these, these places. And it's so cold, even the movie theater. But the one we go to has uh, heated seats. So, yay, keeps you warm. But anyway, that is beautiful. Very soft. Love the pockets. Very happy with that one, too. So far, we are batting. I don't know what they use batting scores. Batting a 1,000? Batting a 1,000? I don't know. I know I'm such a dork. Okay, next. And what's sad, I think I ordered these twice and hasn't got here yet or, or it's sitting there. Um, I think I have one more bag to open, but I think I ordered it twice when I was going through my orders and doing my price adjustments. Don't forget those. I've been getting really nice ones lately. Um, so do that all the time. And I did it like this morning when I got up, I did it and I got a couple. And then around 10 or so, I just went on my phone to check a message. And I thought, what the heck, let me go check. And I got a couple more. So, yeah, you, know, you never can tell when they'll come, when they'll go away. Check your price adjustments. If you don't know how to do it, I have a video on it. <laughs> so, these, oh, these are soft. Okay, my nice team bag. I'm going to have so many of these. I'm going to have to just start finding more uses for them. They're okay. These, all right. These are not as I expected. So I'm kind of bummed that I have two of them coming. If it's the same pant, I think it is. It's, I thought it would be more like a pant pant material. I don't know what I'm thinking. Um, they might not be bad though. I'll, I'll have to try them on, like I said, but I'm hoping, I was hoping for work. Uh, but anyway, it's like, it's almost like a sweatshirt material, like a thicker soft soft material it is a stretch waist it's a nice size elastic waist it's got to be what two inches or more but that's really nice of course it's going to be you know yeah 100 percent polyester but what i liked was the detailing so i'll show you half of it so okay so we got pockets and they're real Oh, and they're pretty deep too, so that's really nice. But they have this like snap. I want you to see that snaps on it um, on the pockets. But then what's also so cute is they go all down the leg, all down the leg on both legs. And I believe I read in the reviews they're real. <laughs> I don't know why you'd need that. But it would unsnap all the way, <laughs> all the way up if you so wanted. So that's interesting. But um, so you can do whatever you want with these. But um, I'm going to try them, see how they look. I was thinking of doing this. I don't know what I'd wear on top uh, yet, but um, it's tucked into boots. I thought they'd be really cute, especially with, like I said, this design going down the side. So we'll see how they do with this material. 
but it really does feel more like like a sweatsuit kind of material I think it's thicker so it'd be warm warmish um, but yeah we'll see but I, I'm so bummed that I ordered two I don't have money to be ordering double like a dum-dum always check and I preach this and I tell you guys to do it and then I forget to do it I get excited over something I don't do it um, what did I get excited about with the order? I think on this one, they've been giving me what they call a 100% rebate or something. So you're supposed to get this amount of credit of your order, whatever. I got to look into it more, but I got all excited and placed an order and didn't look and then placed another order and didn't look back at my orders. So before you hit that submit, just in case you forgot, go back through your previous orders, a few, you know. And slide across and check every item and make sure you're not ordering double. And I know it's not just me. <laughs> the other YouTubers I watch have made the same error. So, yeah, be careful. So, I wanted some decorations behind me for the holidays since I can't put, like, a, you know, uh, some kind of background or something up here like others do between me and the bed. It just wouldn't work. And then you couldn't see Bella and that wouldn't be good. So, even though she's not there now. Uh, where is she? She's probably, yeah, since, she, since I cannot see her out here in my living room, uh, she must be way back there in my uh, bedroom sitting on my bed staring out the window, which is her spot. <laughs> but anyway, um, she's such a cuddle bug, too. When I go to bed, she's got to come and curl up right on me. It's just so sweet. Anyway, I digress, as usual. Squirrel. Um, but those two pillows... My ex-daughter-in-law, when they were down here, um, came in and I said I hadn't, for some reason that headboard doesn't match up with the frame properly, so I couldn't screw it on there to make it solid so it, it, it can move and it was hitting the, the wall. And so I said, you know, when you get in and out of bed, it, it can do that. You might have heard Bella do that when she jumps in here, boom. Um, so I said, well, you might want to take a pillow or something and put it back there while you're here. And, you know, until I get around to fixing it. And she said <laughs> to my son, well, why don't we use one of the ugly pillows? What did, what did you just say? <laughs> I was just like, I'm in the room, right? You know I'm in the room. Sorry, my eyes are watering. But I'm just like, what? I don't care if you're thinking it. You said it. Anyway, <laughs> I didn't think they were that ugly. Anyway, um, yeah, so, um, but one of them is like oblong, right, or triangular, not triangular, rectangular, and the other one is square, so I'm hoping these pillow covers will fit them, and then I can decorate that way for the holidays for you guys, and then I don't have to decorate my whole house or spend that kind of money or time, I can just have a little holiday room respite area. Okay, so I'm not Irish. But you might be. So, and if anybody's watching from Ireland, let me know. I will so want to go there. It looks so beautiful. But anyway, I got St. Patrick's Day pillowcase covers. So there's the square one. Isn't that so cute? Look at the vibrant different greens in that. All the different shamrocks. Sorry, I didn't mean to screw up your Irish accent. My Irish people, if they're already. But yeah, so it's that kind of outdoory almost material but not quite so it's it's a rougher you hear that yeah it's like a rougher material but I don't care it's decorative uh and they always have the little zipper and it goes pretty far down so only this area on here by my thumbs is still closed so you can get a nice size pillow in there squish it up put it in there unsquish it and uh you've got a decorative piece so these are very nice for the price. Um, I know they were only, well, the price is there, so you already know. I don't know. I'm thinking, let's see how close I get. I'll see in editing. I think they were maybe two something, under $3, maybe. We'll see. We'll see if I'm correct. But anyway, I thought that was just adorable. I like the graduating effect of it where, you know, there's a whole bunch and then just a couple. So that'll be behind me on a pillow in March. And I always know what day it is because a nephew of mine, well, a nephew of my ex's, 
um, was born on March 17th, which is St. Patrick's Day. So, how is your mom? Okay. Do I have another one? Yes. So I got another one. Because, you know, you got to have both of them, right? Remember, these bags always have a way to get into them. There we go. I hope you guys all saw my my Lego succulent planter. I had fun making it. I haven't done Legos since my kid, my son was a kid. I would play Legos with him, but it was adorable. My grandson said, I'll help you with it, Grandma, if you can't do it. <laughs> like, first of all, thank you so much. That's so sweet. And second of all, uh, where's your confidence in Grandma? <laughs> like, I am known hardcore in the family as someone who likes to put stuff together. Uh, I thrill to that. It's a weird aspect of me, but I get such a joy in, in doing the actual physical labor of it and then seeing my finished project and knowing I did that makes me so proud. So I love doing that kind of stuff. It's just joy. So I really did enjoy doing the Legos. Other than they were so teeny tiny, and if your nails are a little long at all, they were tinier and then they'd get kind of, and they wouldn't squeeze together, some of them. So I put like the piece down, line it up perfectly, and then I took a pencil and the eraser part and I push down on it till you heard the little Lego, you know, click. And then they were together and it was, it was a lot of fun. So, and they gave you extra pieces in it in case you would lose one, but they're, oh, they're tiny. Uh, anyway, here's the second one. So we got some more shamrocks, but like a little more cartoony, cartoony look to it. And this is your rectangular one for that rectangle pillow. Again, zipper. And again, Easy to fill. Look how big that is. Easy to fill up. It's almost the entire side of the pillow. So very easy. Very cute. I mean, I wouldn't want to, you know, lay on them a lot. Like they wouldn't be, you know, pillows you, you, you want to nap on or something. They're a little rough. You know, they're not like bed pillow feel, uh, but they're not really, they're not harsh or coarse on your fingers. Anyway, there you go. We are good for, which way did it go? St. Patty's Day. We are good. We are good. So there's a holiday before that. <laughs> I've got my office decorated for it. I got the entryway to my house decorated for it. But I, and I got a little bit up there. So can you guess what it is? Uh, drum roll. Yes, Valentine's Day, which I don't like. Because I've never, I've never been someone's Valentine. Even for the short period that I was married twice, very short periods. Yes, I failure that. Uh, failure at picking correctly. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, yeah, I've never had that as special Valentine's Day. So, oh, this is so, so, this is nap pillow. This is so soft. Oh my gosh, I love this. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. Oh, I am in love. I'm so happy I got this. Okay, look guys. Hugs and kisses, but look, look at that puppy. Look at how happy that puppy looks and how lovingly it's looking at me. Oh my goodness. If it was only Bella, it'd just be 100% perfection. But right now it's like 97%. It's gorgeous. It's on both sides. These are not, these other ones, you got that and you've got a blank, right? Same with this one, I believe, yeah. So you got your picture and your blank. But this one is on both sides. And like I said, it is so soft. Oh my goodness, I'm so pleased with this. Where is, okay, you've got your zipper. Does it tell you what it's made out of? I'm so curious the difference, but no, it doesn't have a, hello, doesn't have a tag. And again, nice, nice size opening. Get a pillow in there. I think they are 18 by 18, if I'm correct. But anyway, look at that. That is adorable. Now that's kind of Valentine's I like. <laughs> Puppy. Puppy dogs. Okay, I'm very pleased with that. Very pleased. Oh, that's so soft. He's got a rope. Oh my God, that is just... Mm. <laughs> I love that. I should have bought more from that seller because the next Valentine's one is that rough material. So I don't know how I got that really soft one, but... If I find out more, like when I'm editing, I'll go back and look at my order and everything and um, 
And of course I give you the link to the exact order. But if I see they have other designs, I'll probably put a little a little running message up there somewhere or, or interrupt you or something. I'll, I'll let you know that there's you know more in that kind of fabric because now that I know they have that, I love that. And it might just be that seller. This is still beautiful. I love it, but it's that coarser, you know, material. Again, you can kind of see material goes, but look how pretty that is. I mean, that could go in, in a red bedroom, white bedroom, you know, just as a normal everyday kind of a pillow or in your couch or something. I mean, it doesn't, it's hearts and everything, but it's not, you know, happy Valentine's Day. It doesn't say it, so you could do whatever you wanted with it, but anyway, and it's one-sided again. So it's that same design as the St. Patrick's Days. And again, your really long zipper. Put your head in there if you'd like. But yeah, this is, I wish they would tell you, but they don't tell you what they're made of. These are so easy to make, you know, once you look at them, you're like square, square, put it inside out. The zipper's the hardest part for me would be. <laughs> but I'm not a sewer seamstress. There you go. Yeah, that was never one of my skills. My mom went to, gosh, I had to be like nine or 10. Did I have brothers then? I probably did, so I was probably a little older than 10. Um, my one brother is two years younger, and then 10 years younger, and then 12 years younger. My parents were strange. But anyway, <laughs> so I kind of judge things by, did I have the little brothers or not? <laughs> so yeah, about that age. Anyway, she went to take a sewing class at a, at a, like a high school or college, like a, you know, extracurricular little class thing. And, and um, all she made in that, she kind of failed horribly, but she did make me a cute little, um, what was it called? Swiss dot? Was it called Swiss dot? The little polka dot that kind of stuck up a little? She made me a dress, a cute little dress out of that for Easter. So I do remember that dress well, and I have pictures of it somewhere in my photo album. So it's a nice memory. If, if, even if she didn't pass her class successfully, it was a nice memory. Okay, next. Assuming this is glasses. Dual use, I don't know what that means. Okay, anyway. I think these are these sun glass night glasses, something like, I don't remember. Anyway, it comes in this little case. It's a little um, firm, but you could still squish the glasses if you sat on it. But it's a nice little protection. It's got a zipper to it. And then it comes in another little package. Now you've got this little package. A little Ziploc on it. Yeah, these are, um, I think they're like night driving glasses that I wanted. That little <laughs> sticker I cannot read on them. Um, so we'll take that off. I'll have a better description of it, you know, in the description. Or maybe I've even put it up there and you already know before I do. But they've got like a metal frame to them. And then this is like a rubberized area from here back. And then the fronts are like that. So they've got the frame up here, but nothing down here. Plastic lenses. There's your nose pieces. They're nice. They've got like a um, little design to them so that I believe that they're, see it, that it's non-slip. And then let's check it out, dudes. Interesting. So I'm not... It's turned things bluer kind of I don't know I don't remember where I got them I I don't think I would have got them just as sunglasses because I have so many I think there was another reason to it I don't know if they're like polarized or what but I will fill you in somewhere somewhere around here I will let you know and then I think we have just one more item yeah it's, bad. it's always the saddest part um, oh no, we have two more items because I have a freebie. Freebies are gone now. I can't find any freebies anymore. Uh, but, oh, this one I love. Okay. You know me. I'm not crazy about my dog at all, right? Hey, Miss Bella. Not at all. Um, yeah. So, you've got your little hook here. You can hook it on anything. You can put it on luggage, on a purse, on a backpack, on a keychain, whatever your heart desires. 
and it comes with an actual keychain thing here if you wanted to just use that a little chain and then BAM look at that puppy is that not a beautiful puppy that is a beautiful puppy and the back is plain and it's just like a acrylic or plastic I'm not sure hi but yeah, there she is. Is she gorgeous? I had to get that. Just had to. I know I'm crazy with my dog, but I love my dog. <laughs> and it's been her and me for a long time, so you know. This was um they used to have reward seven seven seven. Maybe you still get it. I don't. Um they say it went away. Um, but, uh, they used to have a thing where you could get a free gift certain days. You could, or if you ordered that day, you could pick one of those special uh, list of items and you could get it for free. And I was lucky and I got these and these are really, really pretty. So there is two of them. So, but I'm just going to show you one. So they're earrings and they come on the little hook back. Now this one, how does it open? Oh, I'm going to have to bend it because it's too tight. Okay. So that's what it should look like. So you can actually get in your ear. Uh, but yeah, you just hook it on your ear like that. You might want to put one of those plastic backings on it. I don't believe. Squeeze the bag. No, it did not come with a back. Um, and then you've got this beautiful blue little stone. And then you've got this beautiful movement, Adrian. Uh, you've got this pretty little encased in silver. Those aren't jewels or anything. Those are just little decorations in the silver that almost make it look like little little jewels in there. And then you've got, the, again, that beautiful blue stone. Forgive the nails. I, got, I need to fix my polish. But yeah, those are gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look at those. Come on. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Free, free, free. <laughs> so, yes, I do love those. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay. Oh, bad eyes today. Um, anyway, uh, that is it for my Timu haul. Um, I've done a couple other videos. I'm hoping to get up shortly for you. I do have, I think, one more package from Timu in there. Um, and then I think it's not too late yet, right? No. Um, I do have two giant bags that I got from Burlington Coat Factory. So I'm going to do a video on that. You'll probably see me looking just like this. Uh, oh no, she's laying on the couch watching TV. So um, anyway, I'll do that video for you. And uh, I'm trying to keep videos out. It's just, like I said, hard um, when I get home so late and then I have to make dinner and then it's bedtime. And yeah, it's a little struggle for me. Um, and then I was going to do them on the weekend and then I was just, I was lazy. Um, I was going to do them on Sunday. I had a big plan for Sunday. And then Saturday, uh, what did I do Saturday? Oh, I finished taking all my, I had taken down all my Christmas stuff and everything, but I had it still piled in my living room because it was like too cold outside and I have to store it in my storage thing outside. Um, and so I got all that organized and everything in my outdoor space and condensed everything. I was proud of that. Um, moved my treadmill back where it should have been. <laughs> heavy sucker uh so now my living room is more spacious again <laughs> you know christmas is beautiful and everything but it just takes up so much space uh so i got all that taken care of i rearranged a couple of things in my living room to make it look a little nicer at least in my head um when i had no water oh, oh, water company um i think i told you the closet my guest my guest closet my entryway closet um, it's a closet and then it's a big closet, but it, the closet's this big. And I realized that's because this half is the water heater. And then there's a fake wall thing with this made out of this extremely heavy, heavy board, um, that they put up there and they like propped it up and then they, um, screwed in a coat rack. So from the wall to the fake wall. So that kind of supports that wall from ever moving, and then you can also use it as a coat rack. Um, and then they put a little um, two by one, two by one, maybe? I don't know, uh, around, maybe bigger. <laughs> anyway, um, they put that board around. So like on the fake wall a bit, 
the back wall and the side wall. And then I realized what I need to do is measure that perfectly. Uh, go to the hardware store. And if you ever have to do this later and you don't have the proper tools, do this. You can go to the hardware store and pick out whatever wood you want. So, because I want to make a shelf. So I'm going to pick out the wood I want, probably, you know, an inch, half an inch thick, whatever. I don't know. But anyway, I'll put a board. Um, and then you can give them the, your measurements and they will cut it for you. So that is really nice. It comes in handy if you don't have the materials to do it. I do have a jigsaw. Well, I think my jigsaw died finally, but I did have a jigsaw and I would cut my own. Like I used to cut out the, um, and make the, um, lawn ornaments, you know, like the Christmas things. Like I had the Grinch out there and I had a train and the Santa and I had 101 Dalmatians. I, I had a bunch of stuff when I had my house, house. And, um, and so I used to cut out stuff with the jigsaw, but I think I, I think I killed it. But even if I had it, I don't have an area. I had a garage before. I don't have that now. So I really don't have an area where I could do that. I'm not going to do it in the house. And I don't have an exterior area to use it. Um, I do have two patios. What are you getting, Bella? Get out of the garbage. Hey, ma'am, you are not a garbage girl. What she's doing in the bathroom. Um, but, and they have exterior electrical outlets but they just stopped working so i don't know why i checked the fuses beyond that and the the i think i have to replace the gfi plug if any of you know about that <laughs> um because you know the little i think it's gfi right gfi where it's got the little button in it that can pop if something happens um i can't get it to go back in and stay in so i think they're blown um, so that's on my list eventually of doing something about that when I get up the nerve. I know I do turn up the main power. My dad's like, you don't have to do that. You won't get shocked that much. Yeah, I've watched him get shocked. No, thank you. Uh, and my boss used to do that too at work. She used to just unhook stuff and, ah, I'm like, no, I don't, <laughs> I don't need anything more shocking in my life than my life. So you're eating something bad, aren't you? Oh, goober. Um, not. Bad isn't harmful, but bad isn't she shouldn't be doing it. I'm going to pause this for one second, if I remember. All right, I corralled her. <laughs> anyway, um, so I always turn the main, the main, um, main circuit. What am I trying to say? I'm tired. Uh, main circuit breaker off, and then, then I go about doing electrical work, uh, limited electrical work. I know, I'm so weird. I told you I like building things. <laughs> I always wanted to flip houses, but never had the money to do it. I thought that would be so much fun. Um, anyway, I don't know where I was going with all that. But, yeah, that's how you can get wood cut if you need wood cut. You can just take it to the you know, Home Depot or Lowe's or something. They should cut it for you. I've had it done before. So I want to make a shelf in there. They'll have a little more storage and organize that. And so I did a bunch of things like that. I didn't organize my closet, and I really nearly need to because now i got a bunch of clothes piled up. So I was lazy about putting them on hooks and on hangers and stuff. I gotta do that um and then i was gonna just i just stopped because i'm like okay i got it ready they're gonna call any minute to go to the movies and they never did and so i played xbox for like six hours <laughs> so i got nothing else done video wise um and then i was gonna do it sunday went to the store did some food shopping forgot fellas food um that's why i had to go get some so she's been eating Food food, like people food. Good for you food though. Sweet potatoes and green beans and sardines and scrambled eggs and yeah. So she hasn't minded not having dog food because she normally gets a little of that mixed with dog food, but now she got all that. So she was quite happy. But um anyway, so I did all that and then as soon as I got home I'm like, okay, I'm gonna make some videos. And then the phone rings and it's my dad and mom going, Let's go to the movies. So anyway, that's where we went. Um and we saw Argyle. Argyle. It was pretty good. It was goofy and, um, you know, the, the stunts were unbelievable, but fun. I mean, what he did in a car is like that is completely impossible, but it was fun to watch. Um, so that was really good. And the cat in that was just, yeah, the pork, the little, just the eyes on that cat were so expressive. Uh, it's like a spy kind of thing. It was, it was good. It was really good. Um, and John Cena was in it and he had some good scenes. So, um, I would recommend that. Don't go to it again, like for, you know, Academy Award winning movie or believable stunts. Go 
go to it for action and fun and comedy and just a good time. And uh, both my parents liked it and I liked it. So I recommend Argyle. But um, yeah, we went there and then by the time we got done with dinner, and they talked so long at dinner and then I came home and I was too tired. And yeah, that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Okay. Um, <laughs> I know I'm such a... Such a goober. I call people goober, but I'm the goober. Um, I was looking for my little cards here. Remember our mindful talk cards? Let's pick one. What did we get? We got expression. All right. Oh, this is good, especially if you're female. I notice as women, mostly, not everybody, there's no general rule for every single person in a group. Okay, so get that idea ahead already. So I'm just speaking in, you know, generalized terms, um, not specifics. But anyway, most women, or a lot of women, we grow up and we learn to take care of others, right? We're caregivers. We take care of other, others, we think of others, and we spend a lot of time saying not so nice things to ourselves in our head. Probably things that, you know, I've said things in my head about myself that I would you know, not have anything to do with someone else if they were saying those things to me, but I allow myself to say them to me. Just crazy, right? Um, and I'm and I'm working on that. So this kind of has to do with that. Like, I used to tell my kids all the time, you're smart, and you know, that was a great idea, and you're so good at that, and you're so pretty, or you're so handsome, or you're so, you know, talented, or you're so creative, whatever, positive, right? Um, not that I was perfect at it, but yeah, I, I, I made an effort to do that. Um, and I still try and I try with my grandkids and I don't try so hard with myself. And that's wrong because who else is going to be saying it to me? You know, my kids aren't saying it to me. Um, my parents are in their own world. Uh, my dog, she can't talk, dang it. And so <laughs> I don't have a significant other. I don't have nobody that loves me like that. Um, <laughs> But um, me and hey, everybody, right? We're all, we're like, you know, no ring on that finger. But um, so there's nobody saying those things to me. So if I don't say them to me, I'll never hear them. So I have to practice at it and tell myself good things. So that has to do with this card. So as women, this might be something that's harder for you to answer. And it would be easier if instead of saying the word you or yourself in here, once I read it, if you put like, you know, your child or your significant other or whatever, you know, even my pet. I say wonderful things to Belle all the time. I call her beautiful and all kinds of stuff. Uh, she's so smart, all that kind of stuff. Um, but you might have an easier time if you put someone else's name in here instead of your own. And that's sad. So let's start working on that, okay? Let's start being nice to ourselves. <laughs> but anyway, here's the question. <laughs> What is something nice you can say to yourself every day? Now, like I said, what if you put in there, what is something nice I can say to my child every day? Easy, easy. What is something nice I can say to a stranger every day? Even that's easy, you know? Hello, you look so good. You know, I love your outfit. Da, 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 da. I say it all day. Um, but then I find myself not saying all those things to myself. So... What is something nice that I can say to myself every day? I like to read, if you followed me for a while and seen my Timu hauls, you know about the little thing that hangs off my rear view mirror. And it says, God thinks you are. And then every petal of the flower has a different wonderful word on it. Um, and a lot of times I will read that to myself while I'm driving and really put that in my brain. And then on my mirror, I have a little sticker on there that says you are enough. And I try to say that to myself a lot. Um, but I say stuff like, you know, what can I say to myself? What is something nice you can say to yourself every day? You're awesome. I try and say that to myself too. Like, you're awesome. You, you know, um, when I do something cool at work and everybody's like, you're amazing at this. I have to be like, oh, really? Like that, um, what is it? That syndrome that, um. Faker, it's not faker, but um, you know what I mean. Another word for a fake, um, that feeling you get were imposter syndrome. Um, I get a little bit of that, like, oh, wait till they figure out I really, you know. But 
No, I am dang good at it. Um, and there's things that I am really good at and I have to start telling myself that. So what is something nice I can say to myself every day? Um, you are special. I like that. I'm special. I am a special one of a kind person and I have skills or I have qualities that are good and that are special to me and that make me special to other people. And everybody can find a different quality because everybody values different qualities, right? We all think different things are important or special. Um, and so I hope that, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm special. And thank you to you amazing subscribers who, and you don't have to do it. Please don't feel like you ever have to do it. Make sure it's sincere when you do it because I take it to heart. <laughs> I don't want to be fooled, but you know, um, but I try and believe everything you guys say. Like when you say something, just, I mean, a couple of you have said, you know, I've been going through whatever and you've told me some of the situations, you know, I'm going through this, this horrible thing right now. And I was able to watch your video and you made me laugh. Oh my God. That makes tears come to my eyes and my heart swell. Um, you know, stuff like that, or you helped me get through a really bad time. Um, one of you had bad injuries to your face and, and it was extremely painful and stuff. And you were like, get watching, watching my video helped you get through that. I, that's, that's a more than I ever thought I could do with this channel. You know, um, I thought it would just be fun for people. And then to feel like I did something for someone is awesome. And I know that feeling because I watch YouTube people and a couple of them have hit so close to home on something that I'm like, oh, I so needed to hear that. Or, um, you know, oh my gosh, they're going through the same thing I'm going through. Oh my gosh. Or, you know, they'll, they'll say something and it just, it just really hits me. And I just needed that at that moment. And I write them and I tell them that like, you know, thank you so much. That, that meant a lot or whatever. It, it, I know it from both ends and it's, it's so cool to be the receiver of, you know, enjoyment or knowledge or help from a YouTube channel and to be the giver of that to somebody else through my channel. So, um, yeah, I really appreciate all those comments and they, they, even if I just heart, you know, put the little red heart on it, it just, it just meant a lot to me. And I didn't think maybe when I leave the red heart that there was anything else I could say because you all know that I appreciate you and that um, you all mean so much to me. And uh, yeah, so even when I've had one or two, bless you, <laughs> bad comments, I try and respond. I either don't respond or I try to respond in the nicest way I can. I just, just feel good about that and leave it at that. And then I'm not going to argue anymore. Well, I don't argue, but I'm not going to say anything after that if they come back. <laughs> But, oh my gosh, my heart swells when you all just <laughs> on those people and just stick up for me. And it's just, you know, it's just amazing that um, I have such support and it's everybody should have that in their lives. And I, I don't have it as much in my life. life. Um, don't feel sorry for me. It's just the way my life's turned out. And um, I'm glad that I can get it through you guys. So just know it's appreciated and loved. Anyway, I'm going to start crying and I don't want to show. Let's go. So please, if you can comment below, what is something nice that you can say to yourself every day? And then let me know if you're actually going to try it, if you're actually going to do that. So let's say that to each other. Let's say, okay, so mine is, I am special. So every day when I get up, first thing I do when I look in a mirror, I'm going to say to myself, you are special. And then before I go to bed, the last thing I look in the mirror, I'm going to say, you are special to myself. So I <clears throat> give you the task. <laughs> if you, So what, what did they used to say in that show? And when um, this tape will, will self-destruct in five seconds or whatever. Those things, if you choose to take this mission or whatever, um, if you choose, uh, do that with me. So think of the thing that you can say nice to yourself every day and then do it first thing in the morning and the last thing at night. And let's see if we can, if we can keep that going. Okay. So, um, cause we all have something amazing about ourselves. We have many amazing things, but 
find one thing that you just want to focus on. So I know some of you and I could, I mean, there's one of you out there that is just so kind. Uh, there's another one out there that is just so self-confident. And I don't even know if she realizes it, but that's how she comes off as so self-confident and free. Um, there's others that are so witty that are so funny that, you know, are so welcoming that, um, just are so complimentary. There, there's so many things I can say about a whole bunch of you that have been with me for a while and I've learned about you through your comments and stuff. So you guys are awesome. I just don't say that <laughs> with no meaning. I truly mean it. So, okay, do this. Have an amazing whatever it is for you. It is night for me, as you can probably see that dark outside those blinds. And uh, I can't wait for the days to shift back to longer days where I actually can come home in the light. That will help me because I need my son. I need I need that for to be happier. But I'm trying my best anyway. <laughs> That's all we can ask of ourselves, right? Try your best. Learn from your mistakes. Try to improve. <laughs> be kind. Be kind. That's the best one. So go out. Be kind. Do something nice to for a stranger. Um, say something you're thankful for today. I am so thankful that I remembered to get Bella's dog food. <laughs> I think she would have killed me. Um, but yeah. So and uh, yeah. When I get ready to go to bed, I'm going to look in the mirror. You're the mirror. I'm going to say, Deb, you're amazing. Okay, say it, fake it till you make it, say it till you believe it. <laughs> okay, love you guys, thanks for watching. Remember the like, subscribe, share, comment, blah, 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 blah. Okay, <laughs> bye.